Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined with Mike Grundy. Mike, um, let's start with hell of a matchup for you to get for your bout at London. Uh, I remember seeing you did an article recently as well in the paper, and you obviously feel like the UFC think highly of you and your skill set. And um, Amir Khan, he's a, he's a good tough matchup as well, but. I thought that's a great one. You said about winning this fight will get you someone hopefully in the top 15 after. Is that that kind of vision you had when you got this matchup? Yeah, this is this is a, this is definitely a match I wanted. You know, I um, I didn't expect to get it so soon on my second fight. Mm. You know, obviously it's only my second fight in the UFC. So I didn't expect to get a guy who's ranked, I think he's top 20, maybe number 20. And he's obviously a nice old name. You know, he's been around a while. He's fought a few guys and he's, he's quite a big name in the featherweight division really now. So I didn't expect to get him so soon, but you know what? He's here, and I'm going to take it above Brams, and I'm excited to for the matchup. Really, yeah. And he, he was at the UFC Liverpool card as well when he fought Jason Knight. He was, yeah, yeah, he was there. Yeah, so he was a that he was, was a that, that was a wild fun scrap as well. Jason Knight's always a, an entertaining fighter. Um, I want to touch on it's not released yet. I don't believe. What's his little documentary? What, can, you to, can you give me a little bit of insight? What, what's what, what's this, what this is? You're posting little teasers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, last time um, when I fought my debut in London, we had um, we had a guy who followed me around, did some bits and bats, really, and did a little, little documentary leading up to that to that fight. And then he's done he's done another one, which was last one was quite successful. Quite a few people watched it and was interested in it. A few people asked if I'd do another one, so you know we're doing another one now, and it's it's looking good. It's going to be better than the other one. It's gone through a few different places, a few different places in Wigan, really. That's going to show Wigan a bit as well, so. I'm excited to see it myself, to be honest. Oh, right, so you've not even watched it yet? So you've not, you've oh, not no, had a chance? It's not, it's not fully ready yet. We've still got to get some more training footage and, mm. um, and a few different things, really, that we want on it, but some good good things. Oh, right, done. okay, great. Oh, oh, I thought it was possibly ready. It was coming out soon. So, oh, right, so there's still a little bit more to go. So we've got to, basically, we've all got to sit there and wait a little bit longer. So yeah. I'd imagine it won't be too long. You've got to keep us, uh, watching the teasers. The teasers will be coming out soon again. <laughs> so. And let's ask uh, about this uh, white Snickers battle that's going on. <laughs> oh, I was going to ask about that. I think Tom was the other day. <laughs> yeah, well, it's got to be asked, mate. You know, I'm, honestly, I think a, a WWE style matchup between you and Darren, with Tom as the guest referee, in there, the winner gets a box. I, I don't think I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, there's a bit of a weight difference, though. <laughs> hey, Rey Mysterio didn't complain when he faced the big show. No, that's true. <laughs> yeah, basically, Darren started it. It was um, it was nothing to do with Snickers at first. It was just that Darren, he just put up a Darren just as this mischievous as Darren is, he just he just likes to wind people up. Yeah. But one day I was just sat at home and he just um, he, I started getting loads of notifications on my Instagram, and um, I looked on Darren's Darren's page. And he'd, he'd um, tagged me in. He tagged me in that he, I think he took me down in, <laughs> in wrestling, in training. And then um, the guy who recorded it is, is the guy who follows Darren Ray mainly, Brandon. So he um, he had the footage. And he, had, he also has footage of me taking Darren down too. <laughs> yeah. So I messaged Brandon. I said, Brandon, got to send me footage of me taking Till down. So he would, what he did... Brandon screenshotted it and then sent that to Till and Till put that on as well, me, me asking for the footage. So they, they'd set me up. So I was I was fuming then. But then eventually Brandon sent me some footage of me taking him down. So um, so I put that on as well. But then Darren, Darren come back and he says, nobody touched my Snickers and put a video of him. Te- otherwise I'll do this to you. And put a video of me t- him taking me down and choking me out, which was actually on the slide, to be honest. And then... <laughs> So I, a couple of days later, I put a, a put a picture of his um, Snickers and said, I "Took down his Snickers today," but and and, and he tried to get him back, so I did this to him and took him down and stroked him up. So it's just a bit of banter, really, between us. But, but he started it. <laughs> started it. Hey, I love it. I absolutely love what I do. I think it's great crack. Um, yeah. <laughs> so being on. Um, the London card. Darren obviously didn't make that London card. He was potentially talked about going against Jericho and Ian. It's, it's but 
the kind of whole place is going wild at the moment at the gym because there's so many fights you guys have got lined up with so many guys. I imagine the training must be off off the hook, so to speak. You know, everything must be feel great right now. Yeah, really good. We've got seven lads. Uh, sorry, we've got nine lads out. Not this weekend, the weekend after on Provellum, which yeah. is a big, big, fast growing show, really. Fastest in the world right now, probably. It's got a lot of highlight real knockouts and stuff. Yeah. Don't know if you've seen any of them, but. The Ross Pearson one. one. Was, um, oh, yeah, that was, that was ridiculous. Ooh. That was the side to the side. It was ridiculous. So we've got nine lads on that on the 7th of March. And obviously, one of them being Paul Kelly, which has got a lot of hype around. Yeah. You know, Paul, Paul's making his comeback. So he's in the gym. So we've got all them fighting, plus me and Tom fighting, and Tills in any way helping us all out. So the, the vibe's good in training, and you know everyone's training hard, and everyone's, you know, they're, they're all angry, ready to ready to ready to fight. <laughs> I was going to say Paul was the name I was going to ping out there. He's a, a it's a heck of a story. His coming back uh, to on uh, making the main event welterweight bout. It's a heck of a way to come back, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he's, a, he's always been an exciting fighter, though, Paul. Yeah. He's always just said what he thinks. Maybe sometimes not the right thing, but he's always said what he thinks. <laughs> you know what I mean? uh, but he's he's an exciting fighter. I can't wait for that that comeback, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll be tuning into that fight card. Uh, they do stream it on... I don't know how they stream it again. Because I remember... See, I remember... It on, I think it's IFL TV or something, but... Yeah. Um, it does get a lot of views. Yeah, but I remember watching the last one, you see. Does it? It's going to, probably going to be almost sold out that place. Oh, I would imagine so. Yeah, because it's like you say, quite a lot of guys on. Then it's 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 going to be a heck of a fight night card. Um, and look, that kind of vibe in the gym and and the guys around there is always it's it's always huge. With Tom getting signed up as well, and what kind of you know you must be seeing it. Well, t- uh, Tom does in training, and uh, for yourself as a kind of teammate, you must be pleased as punch, so to speak, to see him get signed up. Oh yeah, massively. Yeah, we. Uh, like I said, me and Tom's good friend. We drive. I drive him to train every day, you know, and he's uh, he deserves it. You know, he had to do. He had to do it really because he was struggling game matchups mm. anywhere in Europe. You know, he was on Cage Warriors, he was on the Cage Warriors, but he just couldn't get him. After a while, they couldn't get him matchups really, so he had to go to the RC and and I think he's gonna do. He's gonna do really good. You know, he's gonna. I think he'll be champion one day. You know, he's he's a heavyweight. He's you know, you don't get put onto Tyson Fury's camp for no reason. Do you know yeah. what I mean? As a took on as a, as a sparring partner, his 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 hands are fast. His m- movements really really good. You know, he's 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 all around really good. So obviously the black belt on the ground. Mm. So he's he's definitely going to take that heavyweight division by storm. Really. Yeah, that's the thing about my eye. Know his speed. For for the weight that he is, he moves so fast. He doesn't look anywhere near. You wouldn't think he's a heavyweight. Like, no, I not think, the way he moves. No. Yeah, footwork's fantastic. The hand speed is is, is, is insane. And uh, he's an exciting addition. Like you said, though, it was one of those cases where, I think because of, like, he had, I think it was, what, 7-1, I think it is, I've top me had his record, is something like, it, it kind of got to the point where, if it, if you're on the lower kind of uh, matchups, like three, two, three, four fights, there's probably some matchups around for you, but he got to the point where he was just head and shoulders above the rest. It was... It was just no option for him to get in the UFC. And look, I'm looking forward to seeing his debut. And he's got a change of opponent. Fingers crossed yours doesn't change. I no, think I'm a... Yeah, I think Amir Khan is a great matchup, though. Obviously, because he's got the... I think he's got Greco-Roman wrestling background in some facet. So, and the scrambling that he had with Arnold Allen was... I, I assume you might have watched that fight um, for maybe yeah. a bit of tape study. But I'm just looking forward to seeing how he handles your wrestling side of things as opposed to like with Arnold it was more a case of the scrambling with the jiu-jitsu that Arnold was using yeah. rather than the wrestling yeah I think he's going to bring the best out in me you know what I mean especially you're going to see me wrestling a little bit more hmm. um, my scrambles so it's just like, like I say I'm excited for it too you know so two two decent wrestlers sometimes can cancel each other out as well yeah. so they end up going going toe to toe in the middle of the octagon as well so I'm excited for that too that's a nice little thing, though, isn't it? When you think about it, where you're renowned for your wrestling, which is rightly so, but what people don't see in the background is every session you're drilling your hands, you're drilling your hands, you're drilling your hands. There was a little tape that Ta- Darren did, and he was helping you with it, and he was giving like a bit of advice on the on the strike and with the pad work and stuff. And people yeah. don't really see that every session you're doing, your hands are getting smoother and smoother, and all that's gonna 
come out. Uh, they'll, it'll come out at some point where you will. Sh you've already shown you've got good hands, but you'll just start to see a this fluidity in your hands where people will not forget the wrestling, but that will be a that'll be such a danger that wrestling will be in the back of their mind because obviously fights start on the feet where the the hands come forward. Yeah, it's. A, it's I mean, like a wrestling's a, a, a good weapon, isn't it? Mm. You know, if you've got people scared of your takedowns, you can let your hands go a little bit more. Yeah. And that's what happened with me and Nad, really. He was, yeah. he was, he was bothered about the takedown, and he was showing me from, from the second the ref said go. He was showing me his knee and stuff like that, so I knew what he was, ex he was, he was expecting to just, just defend the takedown and catch him with a knee on the way in, so I gave him something else to think about. So, you know, like, you got you can't be in Team Carbon and not, not, no way to strike a little bit, you know what I mean? No. You, you're fighting with Aaron Taylor every other day and <laughs> people like that, he's trying to knock your head off. So you, you've got to, you've got to have, you've got to have some kind of potential in your hands. You do. You and let's talk about Wigan Warriors. Uh, yeah. you were, were, were you helping, we do stuff with them, were you? A little session was that? What was all that about? Well, I'm, I'm close to Wigan Warriors. I mean, I've always supported them since I was a kid, all my yeah. family. I've always been rugby players, so like my cousins and my, my uncles and stuff, my granddad, they've always just been into rugby really, because so, Wigan's a big rugby town. Huge, So yeah. I've always supported Wigan Warriors, and um, you know, the, at the weekend, they uh, they invited me to go onto the pitch at, at half-time and stuff, do a little interview about my fight, and you know, and, and, and I even got to go into the back, you know, with, with the lads when they won, things like that, Fantastic. you know, it was good, it was good atmosphere. Sorry? That, that's fantastic, and that's like a yeah, that's a great little recognition for yourself as well. I, I'm sure you uh, really enjoyed that anyway, didn't you? Probably, yeah, I enjoyed. It, yeah, and we got it all on the documentary and stuff like that, so that's all going to be on. Um, you know, it was there's about twelve. I think there's about twelve, twelve and a half thousand people there. Yeah, they, they get good numbers, yeah. and do you know what? The rugby league is fantastic. I do enjoy watching a bit of rugby league. I don't have a team yeah, as well. I don't have a team, but I just enjoy watching rugby league. Yeah. Especially when they start scrapping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a good game. You know, Wigan won. They got the win. They won Hull. So they're doing well. Yeah, Hull, they're Hull are a solid team as well. It's, uh, it's, it's always going to be good to watch that league going. Yeah, I think that's great because yeah. I think um, I saw Brett Johns as well. He went out to Swansea City Football Club as well. He went out onto the pitch and it's just I like the transition of, with the sports and the, the recognition of the people and it's, it's, it's a nice thing to see, isn't it? It is, yeah. Well, Wigan Warriors are good at that, really. They recognise um, talent in, in, in the area, really, and, and look after them. And, you know, like this, when the season started, they sent me, like, two VIP tickets so I can go to any game and, um, and, and take someone with me, you know, so that, that was nice of them to do that without me asking or anything. You know, they just sent me two VIP tickets. Fans. Oh, wow. Well, you know, I'm free, um, you know, a couple of Saturdays if you've not used them up, you know, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, 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 watch it. yeah I, I love a bit of rugby, love it, love playing it, and I love watching it. Um, look, mate, I am looking forward to the fight with uh, Amir Carney. I'm gonna let you get back to your family time because family time is precious, and and I know you enjoy spending time with your missus and the boys. So before I let you go, buddy, what is your social media for people to jump onto? So my Instagram is um, Mike underscore Grundy, and. My Twitter is MG Wrestling. Uh, um, Facebook, Facebook, Mike Grundy. What about um, sponsors, mate? Sponsors. So my main sponsor is Qualitech, um, which is uh, run by Danny Kers. He, he helps me out a lot. He's helped me out since I was since I was seventeen year old, really through my wrestling career and that as well. So it, my my career would be a struggle without him. So he, he's the one I want to mention really, and obviously my team really, my coaches and uh, my team around me. Fantastic. Honestly, have a great training camp. Enjoy yourself. And I look forward to the documentary coming out. I'll be keeping my eyes out for it, and you should as well, people at home. And again, Mike, just enjoy yourself, and I'll see you down in London. Yeah, I'll see you in London. Thanks for the interview.